Hive Mind, episode two. You know what it is. We got Nick from Equipment in here. And this segment is called Under the Influences. So we're gonna start this one off a little bit differently because you are an indie rocker. By all accounts, I would say indie rocker. It's fair. Okay. It's fair. <laughs> Identify. We're gonna have you clear up some indie rock debates for us. Now, this is a big one, obviously. Blue Album versus Pinkerton. Mm. What's your take? This is really tough. Um, Personally, I would say Pinkerton has influenced me more, but is, is Blue a, a more polished and like, you know, just hookier beast, probably, but I don't know, they, 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 they shine in their own ways, and I think it's, it's unnatural to, to rank the two. That's cool, but I mean, you have to pick one. Okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Let me think. You know what? I, I think, you know, I, I'd have to say Blue. Alright, Blue it is. Second. XO versus either or versus figure eight versus Elliot Smith versus Roman Candle. The the answer is either or. Okay. Um, it's probably my favorite record of all time. TBH. Really? Yeah. Wow. I like I like all of it, but I've definitely sided more with his um, lo-fi stripped back sound than his future like XO figure eight from Basement on a Hill that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why. I just like I like his his delivery of songwriting. I think it was very. Um, it's very raw and like, but just like in the best way, you know? What do you think about best Kendrick album? Good Kid versus The Pimp Butterfly versus Dan? These are indie rock questions, by the way. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course. Indie rock star Kendrick Lamar. You mm -hmm. right? Well, indie rock just means um, high art anyway. So um, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, to Pimp a Butterfly, I would say. Like I've, I've listened and processed to all three, but I mean, I don't know, dude. You can't. There's no question. It's Tip of the Butterfly. It's such a grand no album. Question. See, that's what I think, but I mean, I know a lot. I know of a lot of people. Great. A lot of my friends think uh, Good Kid, Mad City. That's a really good concept album. I'm biased right now. I'm a five day binger. I know. I've been hearing your Snapchats. That's Damn amazing. is a great album, but like four. nowhere near as ambitious as Tip of the Butterfly. And the fact that Tip of the Butterfly is not only ambitious, but it like does what it sets out to do, I think that's like more commendable than Damn. T -H. Alligator versus The Boxer versus High Violet versus Trouble Will Find Me. I've listened to Alligator and Boxer like a million times, but I haven't listened to the last two like too many times. Like not enough, but I would still side with either Alligator or Boxer. Like I think Boxer has uh, probably stronger hooks, but I really like the general like almost like melancholy vibe that Alligator has to offer. Man, it's like a blue and Pinkerton kind of thing it's as tough. well. It's like choosing between kids. And I know a lot of people aren't of the. Uh, no, my kids. Do you? Um, I have a few. Ronnie, mm -hmm. if you're watching at home, go to bed. <laughs> so I was gonna ask you a hot button indie rock debate: transatlanticism versus plans. But earlier, we had a conversation that made me think I should just ask you what is the best Death Cab for Cutie album. How long do you want me to talk? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. We Have the Facts and We're Voting Yes is my favorite Death Cab album. Its parts lead to something greater than like what it is, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, you know uh, it's like almost like dreamy kind of sounding, like lots of reverb, but like not overwhelming. It's just like very, like in a, in a dazed state. And then Transatlanticism. I mean, what's there to, what's there to say? It's my favorite, I'll tell you that much. It's a great album. It's probably influenced me, my music more than any the other Death Cab albums, but it's not my favorite. And then Plans is a great album as well. Lots of great refined hooks, good polished sound. Um, Underrated, yes. Great closer, a uh, stable song. Oh yeah, uh, Marching Band's Manhattan's a great track. The best Death Cab album is Transatlanticism, but it's not my favorite Death Cab album. I'll just say that. Um, Illinois versus Michigan. Michigan? I'm a Michigan guy, okay. personally. I, I thought you did a Twitter poll with this, I think. Yes, I was. Did I was, Michigan was, win the poll and also win in your heart? What? For me, I forgot about the poll before I decided on Michigan, but yeah. then, then the poll was also Michigan. I was surprised because Illinois is like, that's like what most people think of when they think Sufjan. Mm -hmm. But um, Michigan, to me, I think it's just like, it, it just reminds me of just like spending time at a lake in Michigan, honestly. Yeah. It's just like such a, uh, like the piano, like all of yeah, it. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. The whole color scheme of the album, like you can tell, it's nature. <laughs> 
So Nick, do people really want to know your thoughts on all time versus OJ Simpson versus the people? Oh, come back, come on, come on. It's the, the one third one we lost. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, uh, um. John Travolta? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say yeah. Yeah, John Travolta. That's the winner of that debate. Um, how about Freddy versus Jason? <laughs> what show is this? <laughs> um, let's see. I'm just gonna say Jason. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> so, is there an influence that fans of equipment might not expect after hearing your, your music? Something that doesn't quite tie into your sound, but something that you're actually influenced by when you make music? Yes. Um, I would say a lot of rap has influenced the way I do things, surprisingly. Like, uh, Nas is Illmatic is like, like the, the way he like completely executes what he like strives out to do and like very concisely. Um, I, I kind of strive for that level of like artistry and also like Death Grips honestly. And like is my music that? sounds literally nothing like Death Grips. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, what is dating Nicki Minaj now? Really? Yeah, so those are... How old? Never mind. How old is Nicki Minaj? Well, Nas was like 19 like when old. Illmatic came out. You think Nicki Minaj is 20? Isn't she? No, I think she's way older than that. <laughs> Six, somewhere, between, somewhere between 20 and 60. Um, uh, other influences, uh, what, do you, what do you usually get under the influence of? Like, what do you like, uh, what drugs do you I'm like? a pretty sober guy, I would say. Pretty sober guy? I'm a pretty very sobering, I would say. Um, Sobering response. You're talking about drugs and on TV, <laughs> you are insane. This is a true question. No one's doing drugs, <laughs> especially not.